try to hey youtube how you doing here with some quick updates stuff like that of what's going on in the world so joe biden has become the first president since 9 11 to be asked not to attend the uh the memorial ceremony the anniversary ceremony at all locations and not just by anyone but by the family that's right the families of survivors, not just one family, but multiple families, have asked that he not attend. Here's something interesting too. This kind of relates to Biden. Biden's son lied on federal firearm forms. Uh, so we know that, right? Well, recently, a former deputy in Ocala, Florida, was arrested for uh, federal firearms. Lying on a federal firearms form. So, uh, according to the criminal complaint between February 3rd, 2020 and April 26, 2021, not saying his name, purchased multiple Glock pistols, AK-47 style pistols, and an AK-47 rifle from a Marion County gun dealer. Many of the firearms were identical while purchasing the firearms Blank certified on each ATF form 4473. That's how they're going to... 4 is very important because that is the firearm file that is going to allow them to know what you have and all that fun goodness. Uh, that he was an actual transferee slash buyer of the guns even though he quickly resold them to unknown individuals for a profit. On May 2nd, 2021, one of the Glock pistols that Blank has sold to an individual was used during a homicide in Marion County. This deputy only person. Now, in a case like this, this is wrong. This is actually a law that he violates right here. It's where you uh, purchase a firearm without being the actual transferee or the person buying the gun. This is actually a federal law. So tell me again how those federal laws are working for you guys. I mean, you got a lady driving around San Francisco in a car with the AK-47, which is very much banned in California. Yeah. And look at the gun control policies in Chicago. Yet, look at the gun control policies in states that have concealed carry permits where you don't have to jump through hoops to get them. I also saw a report where a where a reporter said shooting an AK-40, I mean, shooting an AR-15 was like being hit by a bomb or something like that. Let me tell you something. You can put an AR-15 against your nuts and shoot that thing. That's how low the recoil is. It's not going to hurt you at all. It's very, very easy. I can honestly say the only thing that probably comes close to as light of recoil would be the black powder rifles who have a slow burning recoil and they're not really that bad but but remember firearms are on the rise but the legal firearms are usually not used in crimes the legally sold firearms the black market guns which will always be available are the ones that the crimes are usually being committed with unless it's a drunk shooting going on at a bar or something like that I mean I personally believe if you're drinking too much you definitely don't need to have a farm now if you're able to control within your limits eh, a few drinks never killed anyone right well kind of well I mean what do y'all think about everything that's going on? Also, with the coronavirus, COVID-19, SARS-CoV-2, COVID the remix. So, just got some news that Amazon has been hacked nationwide. Wow. It's actually stopped shipping production in some of the sites, if not all the sites. Yay. So. 
that was a pretty quick update. Like I said, I'm going to focus a lot on firearms on this channel, a lot about history on this channel, and conservation, and other topics, I guess you could say. But the main thing to remember is, oh, 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 I remember another one from the news. In, uh, right outside Philadelphia, I believe, in Pennsylvania, um, a police chief described an AR-15 double-barrel shotgun, pump double-barrel shotgun, I should say, and 9 millimeter pistols as artillery. Artillery is not <laughs> uh, an AR-15. Artillery is actually defined, defined federally and in the dictionary itself as a multiple operational system, meaning it needs one or more people, usually four or five people to run it. And these are ships that you, these, these are the cannons you see on ships, stuff like that. That is artillery. Mortars are artillery. Stuff that's already banned in the United States. Not, not a AR-15 which is described as small arms, meaning it can be operated by one person. Small arms. The 5.56 was actually created to be least, effect, least deadly due to, NATO's, due to NATO and the Geneva Convention trying to prevent as much death as possible in war. Okay? Some of these, some of these people are just outrageous and never, probably have never shot one of these guns in real life, or even seen the entrance and exit wound that these guns make. I have. They're not as bad as what some people want to say. I mean, heck, even the 50 BMG doesn't leave that big of an exit compared to the way it's displayed on television, displayed on movies, and things like that. <sighs> it's not. You have a hole this big on a 50 BMG, and the exit hole maybe this big, and that's that that right there is even pushing it. Usually they're about like that, where AR-15 you have about like that of an entrance and about like that of an exit if it doesn't tumble, and that's the thing. Any bullet tumbles when do stuff, and then nine millimeters are fast they're good for they're, they're pen, they can penetrate because they, they move fast but they're not as deadly as what they want to make them out to see she's joe biden wants to ban the nine millimeter i guess because it's the most common and most popular round in the world so uh and i'm talking about the nine millimeter antebellum i mean parabellum or the nine millimeter luger whichever term you want to use the luger can be parabellum our Luger is the exact same, it's the exact same firearm. I mean, uh, bullet ammunition. So they just continue to attack guns without knowing proper information. And all we want to do, all of us gun owners in the United States, legal gun owners in the United States, all we want to do is be left alone. That's it. We just want to be left alone. We want to take care of our family, raise our kids, do what we got to do. That's it. We don't want to see school shootings. No one wants to see school shootings. And, I mean, also education and farms has to has to come, come out. I know if you're going to be a gun owner, you have to be responsible. You have to teach your kids proper safety of firearms. And that's one big thing right there. You got to teach them. Not only the safety tips, you also got to teach them, hey, you can't touch this. Neither one of my girls will touch any firearm I have. You can leave it out on the table and they'll actually tell you, hey, there's a gun on the table. Can you get rid of it? That's how they are. They also know how to shoot. They've both been shooting for several years now, very safely, and follow the directions. They don't put their finger on the trigger until they're ready to fire. They don't even take rifles off safety until they're ready to fire. They're good at what they do. All right. So that right there will just about do it for us today. Hope you have a good night, good weekend. 
everything else. I'll be coming with a lot of videos soon. Sorry, I usually do more videos this week. Haven't been feeling that great. Still don't feel that great. Either way, you guys have a great one.